Let's talk health now. Many quacks market male sex organ enlargement herbs and claim that these aphrodisiacs can increase a person's sex organ size. However, there's no scientific evidence that these supplements work. I've been on the beach revealing real life stories on this subject matter and how many men are being deceived to believe on the efficacy of the herbal aphrodisiacs. Here are excerpts from the documentary Mahut Wahala. Whilst interacting with me, he could not stop tasting the concoction just to prove to me how efficacious it is. After about 10 minutes, he said he's aroused. Unfortunately for him, none of his wives were around. Just like Munkaila, some residents are highly influenced by these herbs. In the afternoon, you find most of the young men here gathered at the spot. I am finding out why the abuse of the sex enhancement herbs is a need in the area. It is interesting to note that some women are actually getting herbal aphrodisiac for their men. 24-year-old Dora Odro, not her real name, as a trader in Old Fadama. It had been some weeks since Dora and her husband last took trip to pound down and it got her thinking. She had been perceiving clues and ideas to conclude that her husband had either lost interest in their sex life or started seeing another lady. Still in contemplation, she thought about taking matters into her own hands. She decided to patronize a herbal aphrodisiac and a penis enlargement oil. She secretly puts it in her husband's food to increase his desire to have good sex with her. When I was young, I text so many boys, but after I, I get married, I didn't marry the one I choose to be with. I married a different man and he's short and the distant. The penis is not how I can, I feel it. Walking on the streets daily, a curious eye cannot miss the swell of the number of signages asking people to try local concoctions touting to possess the capacity to enlarge a penis. Well, interesting, they actually moisturize. You know, these days it is almost impossible to go to the market centers and not be harassed with one aphrodisiac or the other, and majority of Ghanaian men are increasingly living with the conviction that their manhood could be increased in size by buying and applying some sort of pet of a sort. But what are the health implications of these aphrodisiacs and do they really work? 